here is the humerus and we'll start by looking at the head of the humerus which is this whole area then we can see the greater tubercle you can see it a little bit better if i flip it so again here's the greater tubercle here's the lesser tubercle and in between them is the intertubercular sulcus that little depression in between both tubercles just below the head is the anatomical neck and there's also another neck right here which is the surgical neck and that's the most common area of fracture in this bone if we look at the shaft of the humerus we can see an area a depression right over here And this is the radial groove. Then we can also see a roughened area where the bone's a little bit elevated. This is the deltoid tuberosity. Now you might be able to see it a little bit better after flipping it. We go down to the distal portion of the humerus. We have supracondylar ridges. And this is the medial supracondylar ridge. We can tell this by looking at the head of the humerus and visualizing the glenoid cavity articulating with the head. So this is the medial supracondylar ridge. And that would make this side the lateral supracondylar ridge. We can also see a depression in the bone. This is the olecranon fossa. And then we can see the trochlea, which is a spool-shaped structure. And then the medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle. Remember to look for the head of the humerus for those. And then on the anterior portion, we can see two fossas, one here and one here. This first one and the larger one is the coronoid fossa. And the smaller one is the radial fossa. Then we can see a round knob-like structure. This is the capitulum. And right next to that, we already labeled this, but this is the trochlea.